I was going to ask Catholic you history. about, um, oh, what's her name, the author from Plenary Seven. Ocala. Yeah, I was going to ask you about her. Did you, were you introduced to her works uh, prior to becoming Catholic? Or? Uh, I think and when I was, was she yes, writing? I, I don't even remember. Well, she she died in the early '60s, okay. as I recall, so mid '60s her maybe. Was out. So she was by the '40s. She was already you know writing, but she died very young. I read some um, of her works to my children. Well, she's remarkable. Yeah, my she, kids are like, my kids like read that one where the old woman gets shot in the chest. Like, oh, <laughs> I'm not a good parent. I'm not a good parent. Well, she's I Southern love Gothic, her. as they say. Oh, you know, she's beautiful. Well, I knew. Some of her family members, you know, from Savannah. Um, it turns out, Did you? I found out my mom went to college with her. That's amazing. I had my mom's old college yearbook, one of them. And she's in there. And they're both in there. You Did know? she know her? She, well, by the time I found that out, my mom had Alzheimer's and couldn't remember Aww. anything. But um, You know the story of her being asked if she was a, accused of being a hillbilly nihilist, and she said, no, I'm a hillbilly Thomas. Yes, right. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's a book about her by that date, actually. Yeah. And a band now, a group of Dominicans. <clears throat> oh, that's right. Yeah. Dominicans. That, that's great. Yeah. So yes, she was amazing. Um, in my dissertation, the people I was studying, that it was the lay Catholic leadership in Savannah from 1820 to 1870. So that would have included like her grandfather and grandparents mm -hmm. and aunts and uncles. But there were still people who were my friends that I found out were actually related to her. They were cousins or... Yeah. Um, and, and then of course, the, we have what, what I call the, the alternative tradition about Flannery. I love her dearly. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, she, she could be a little eccentric and apparently okay, her mother could this. be a little eccentric. Well, even like what you know, the fact that she taught a bunch of chicken or chicken, she, she talked peacocks? to. No, she had peacocks later. But when she's still living in Savannah, in a, a townhome that had stairs, she she taught a chicken to walk backwards down the stairs That's or, or go upwards down the stairs or backwards. You know, but <laughs> weird. Um, but cool. But anyway, so apparently, uh, a little Imagine lady that I knew in church that would have had anyway. Continue. Oh yeah, really. Yeah. And she um, apparently her her mother um, wanted to interview children before she would. Let them be playmates with Flannery. Oh, and really? that really upset um, a lady I knew who had been young and had played with her. And uh, so she, when she found out I was going to, I established a Catholic reading room in Savannah. I was at the cathedral, which had been her home parish and her home's her childhood home was right across the square. So I was going to do a, a reading room and call it the Flannery O'Connor reading room. Wow. And my little old lady friend came to me, you can't do that. <laughs> I said, why not? She said, she's just a kook. She's just a kook. Have you ever read anything she wrote? <laughs> yeah. know, and of course, she didn't understand yeah. what Flannery had written. Yeah. Um, but it was so funny that there are at least a few people <laughs> in Savannah just thought huh? she's a kook. And that's all she is a kook. Yeah. But uh, she's, oh, yeah, what amazing stuff. And, um, and her family, the people you know, a couple of generations back were really central to the life, Catholic life in Savannah. Mm.